think with this particular group in the church and society gang, we want to emphasize the relationship between music and justice. And Emily has been, and Emily and Amy have been for justice from the beginning of their careers. And I have a very strong interest in the relationship between worship and justice. In order for the music to be viable and have a life that's important for the just any kind of justice movement or energy, um, it has to speak to everybody involved in the whole movement. The music has to be real and alive and has to speak to truth and power. Yeah, for example, when the church sings a lament, they are not necessarily singing a political advocacy song. They're singing that profound empathy with the other. So the whole range, uh, and, and we move in and out of the question of the lamentable in this world, and there's a lot to lament. Well, from my understanding, I mean, Methodism, John Wesley, it was, it was born out of community activism and outreach and care for people. I mean, that's how the church started, and it was a love for all. All were cared for, um, mm -hmm. and, and that's how the whole church, from, from which this particular denomination sprung, and so... I'd like to see the truth, that, that nugget, that kernel where it all began with John Wesley um, uh, come to life here in this day and age. I think we get a little lost along the way, but that's, that's my message to the UMC is uh, all, all are welcome. When God says all, God means all. We're here to say, come on church, be church. Be, be whom you have called, be, become whom you have called to be. And uh, I think both of us are concerned, perhaps with different accents, Emily and me, on the cultural captivity of the church, the loss of imagination, the loss of willingness to listen to each other at another level. There's too much pontificating and not enough listening to one another. And if music has to do with anything, it has to do with listening across generations, uh, it has across racial lines, ethnic lines, Across so, genre? genres? Genres, mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I, in a way it's, come on, come on, wake up. You are the church, you're not another social organization. And you have a mandate from, uh, you have a divine song to sing. And that means it covers everything and it's for everyone. Oh. You're more of a Methodist than I thought you were. That's really good. I know Wesley, a little bit Wesley. of history. Yes, but you, stick around him long you, enough. You, you, you're going to learn about Methodism and other things as well. Yes.